They have absolutely gone bananas. This ball club that played so bad in spring training got off to such a horrible start. 11 and 19. Everybody thought they were going to finish fourth or fifth for sure. And they roar back to win it and win it in great style. And I don't think there's any question this has been the, the best managing job Sparky Anderson has ever done in his his uh, his yeah, career I'll because buy that. he's kept this team he wouldn't let him quit and it could very easily have quit uh, after that terrible start well they've got Frank Tanana back on the field now and they're going to be interviewing him alongside the Tiger dugout at the end of the Tiger dugout and this crowd of 51,000 refusing to leave nobody leaving they're staying right here George Bell, very disappointed, rightfully so. What a great year. And, uh, terrible. It had to end this way for George Bell. He, what did he get, one hit in this series? One hit, and he just tried to do too much. He knew he was the man everybody was looking for. He just could not do it this series. Okay, we're going to take time out for this commercial, and we'll be right back at Tiger Stadium. Tiger player of the game is Frank Tanana. Frank Tanana picked up his 15th win of the year here today, a 1-0 shutout in probably, most likely, absolutely the biggest game of his major league career. And Miller Light is pleased to send a $100 donation in his name to the Children's Hospital of Michigan. And we'll be right back. told you when the final out was made at first base to Nana tossed the ball underhanded over to Evans that the crowd could tell you the story much better than we could here in the Tiger television booth well you can start the playoffs right now as far as they're concerned they're not going home Al oh uh, they're staying here. here they're hoping that a few Tigers will come out and uh, make an appearance Larry Herndon came out and they gave him a great round of applause of course this home run was the winning run in this ball game and uh, they're hoping that a few of their Heroes, the Allen Trammell, they're still chanting MVP, MVP, and it'd be nice if Allen could come out and make an appearance because uh, these people here are, uh, they love the Tigers and they have all year. Okay, we're going to go down to the Tiger locker room now. Bernie Smilovitz is there and he'll tell you the rest of the story. All right, George, uh, as you can see, <laughs> we're a little wet, but Daryl Evans and Jack Morris are here. How do you feel? Oh, this is fantastic. We came from so far back. This is so different, too. This is so nice. Guys work so hard, and uh, we're here. I can't believe it. I really don't. Um, it's not going to soak in for a while. I guess it will. <laughs> Jack, spring training? Spring training was a long time ago, and this is a different ball club, and I think we all showed that from All-Star break on. Uh, Mike Henneman is here. Not bad for a rookie first year, huh? Not too shabby for the whole team. This is just a great effort. We won. Nice going, baby. Nice going. Sweeping Toronto in three. You guys, were you, would you have been happy with two? Is that what you were looking for? Well, no, we knew we had to win the series no matter how many games it took. And, uh, I mean, seven one-run games, every pitch, everything, so close. And to figure it out, we tried to do that last week, and uh, I just got tired. I think we all got tired of score by watching, and, and now it's here and it's over with, and I'm glad that we got a couple days off and we go again. Emotionally, Minnesota next. I don't think we'll have too many problems getting ready for that. Yeah, I think the... The fact that we played this this team so tough the last couple of weeks and uh, in a moment where where it's hard to feel the way they do right now they really have nothing to hang their heads about they played a great series and had a great year and are the second best baseball team in the country and you're going home and they're going home we're not going home yet you're going home too though to minnesota yeah. thank you jack All right, appreciate you. it thank you hey, break hey, to nana's here matt noakes come in here you too had a great year yes yeah, so and the top had dog had another year. top day huh well, I don't know, you know, we just, uh, we got it done. We got it done, and uh, Bernie, I'd just like to give praise and glory to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right now, who's allowed me this moment, and I just to him be the glory. It's been a great year. What, are you throw, what were you throwing out there today? You look terrific. A little bit of everything. It was my usual. Just slap here, slap there, and every once in a while, one in the 80s to keep mine. You ever pitched a bigger game in your life? Was there a bigger game? Well, in your it's tough. I, I, back then, I thought it was, but nothing, I don't think, can compare to this one. This one has just been, it's special. It really is. I mean, you got this young guy here, 30 some what home a, runs this year. What a year he Not had. Not bad for huh? first year, huh? It's hard to describe the feeling that we're having right now. We're just all real happy. It's great. On to Minnesota. Oh. Emotionally, though, you guys, seven tough one-run games. Two days off will help you, definitely. 
It's right. We have a day off to think about it here and there, but uh, we're just going to enjoy right now. Enjoy that's, the that's for sure. You know, Toronto got a great team, too. You know, somebody had to win it. Somebody had to lose it. They played hard. 7-1 right. run games, like you said, Bernie, they've got nothing to be ashamed of. And they'll rip them because that's the way, you know, we seem to do it to the people that don't succeed. But they're winners. Okay. They really are. Thanks. Frank, thank you. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you, great Thanks. job. Man, okay. thank you. Bill Madlock is here. Well... Not bad, huh? With the Dodgers, where'd they finish this year? Well, a little, like so this has been a really enjoyable week because I started out in last place. Uh, same thing in '79. We went up winning and hope I can do the same thing, win the World Series. You compared this team to the Pirates team. You said there are similarities, but there are differences too. They're different, you know, especially with, you know Sparky and Chuck is uh, basically alike. But uh, this team, uh, with their starting pitchers and the comeback attitude they got, they never say die. You know, that's outstanding. When you came to this team, did you think was there a chance? Well, when I came to this team, I looked at the other teams. You look at Toronto, you look at New York, you look at uh, Milwaukee, and I said, you can win 90-some games and still finish in fourth place, which a couple of teams did. But uh, knowing this, you know, after we got into the second part of the season, the way we played, uh, I figured we had a good shot. <laughs> had a terrific year so far. Playoffs coming up. Minnesota, a couple of days off. That'll help you get, get you guys back. Right, because right now I'm just physically drained just from watching it. It's tough being a DH and watching those guys play. It's an outstanding job. Okay. okay. Bill, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's Bill Madlock. Hey, owner Tom Monahan has just come in. This is better than making pizzas, I know, huh? <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, my heart isn't doing very well. <laughs> Three times, uh, 84. Now back in 87 here. A couple more of these celebrations. You'll be getting all being all hat at this. Never, never. <laughs> when when Sparky said this was the best team he had when they were 11 and 19, what was going through your mind? You really didn't say a whole lot during the season. Well, I thought we'd. Uh, I thought we were a good team, but uh, you know, 11 and 19 is pretty rough. And, Seven one-run games against Toronto. Oh, I mean, they definitely prove they are the best team. They sure did it under pressure. Boy, that, uh, uh, we had something going for us. There was about 50 times in each one of these games that it could have went one way or the other. And uh, uh, it's just too scary. And Louise, uh, Louise Kaline was sitting with us, and she was crying like a baby from the seventh inning on. <laughs> she just couldn't take it. <laughs> How do you celebrate tonight? Throw a couple pizzas on and go? First, I have to... Uh, I have to get over this numbness. I'm so numb, I can't think, I can't move. And it's incredible. Okay. Tom Monahan, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Tom Monahan, the owner of the Detroit Tigers, who have won the American League East. One and nothing winners today over the uh, Toronto Blue Jays. Hey, come right in here. Good. How are you? Not bad for a uh, first go here coming up from Toledo. <laughs> Excuse me, we're getting, we're getting a... Uh, no, uh, Scott, this is, uh, <laughs> Scott, this, uh, you're sitting down at Toledo about a month ago. Do you think you'd be in a locker room like this? No, I never imagined I'd even be here. I was expecting to go home, and when they called me up, that was a thrill enough, and to be in the middle of a fan race and to actually win the division, I won't wake up for another few months. Sparky said he wasn't even going to use you guys. You make a great catch on Friday night. You play terrific baseball for him. It's too bad, no playoffs, no World Series. Well, uh, this was my World Series, so uh, just got to, you know, root the guys on and hopefully they can go all the way. When you guys got together, when you came here, did you feel this team was going to have that run in September when you came up and saw them? Well, when I got here, we were at first, we were right about there, and, uh, you know, we knew they had a good team, and to come back from a slow start like we did was, you know, it's a pretty tough accomplishment, so uh, we won. <laughs> you sure did. Nice job, Scott. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, stepping into our booth. Hi, Bernie. Uh, well. Good feeling, good feeling. A little hoarse right now, but uh, very excited. Baby, last week, this. I'm telling you, we want to go to Vegas with me or something? Certainly, I'd love to. <laughs> but in a couple more weeks, we've got a little, little work to do. But right now, we've had some intense games, the last seven games with Toronto. Uh, mentally, we're a little bit tired. We'll be ready on Wednesday, but right now, it's just time to celebrate. Jimmy Key pitched the a great, great ball game today. He certainly did, and so did Flanagan yesterday. But Frankie pitched better today, uh, and he's been up for it. He's pitched some very good ball games against the Blue Jays. I tell you, it's tough to see in a twilight. That had something to do with it, but those guys made the pitches when they had to. And thank goodness for Larry's home run. I never would have expected to have three games like this. Last week was so incredible. I said, "There's no way we'll have any more games like that." We did. We did. They were incredible. What are you going to do for two days just to get down from all of this? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to enjoy being with my wife and uh, my little daughter, but uh, I'm going to be pumped up for Wednesday. No question about it. I really haven't even started thinking about it because of the last week and all the uh, tightness and the super games. That uh, I'm just trying to trying to enjoy it. 
All right, Alan, you, Alan you've had a great year. Thank, Thank you. you very much, man. Appreciate it. Alan Trammell. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come right back here at Tigers Locker Room, the American League East champions. Two outs in the ninth, and a tap to the mound. This could be it. It's all over. The Tigers win it. The Tigers win it. It's all over. How oh, do you believe it? What a comeback. We are in the Tigers locker room, the 1987 American League Eastern Division champs. Kirk Gibson is joining us. That's more than makes up for six weeks, of a tough six weeks when you were out. Well, it sure does. It's been a long haul for us, and when we left spring training, I think our ultimate goal was to be world champions, and at least we've given ourselves a chance to go on and try to attain that goal. This series against Toronto, can the World Series, the playoffs, be better? That's hard to say. We'll have to play the games. First, we have to uh, beat the Twins to have the right to go on to the series, and, and uh, we'll find out. But uh, we, I think everybody would prefer um, seven laughers in our favor, but it just doesn't happen that way. The competition's why we play the game, and it was great competition. And, and uh, uh, fortunately for us, uh, we had the last lap. It was, if we look back a week ago, um, last Saturday night, I think everybody would have told us we were all crazy because quite a few of us were saying that we were still going to win it. I think a lot of us thought we were crazy, but we really did believe it, and I think that we knew after the game Sunday, when we came back and won that game Sunday, that we were a never-say-die, never-say-never-die team, and uh, uh, we knew that we had a, an opportunity to control, to control our own destiny in this three-game series this weekend. But you're the one who also said Saturday night, maybe we're setting the biggest bear trap of all time, and then hit the home run on Sunday that kept this thing alive. So I guess we did. <laughs> It's a good feeling. Oh, a great feeling, I would imagine. Coming out of spring training, the team played so poorly in Lakeland. You're on the injured list, gone for six weeks. Did you ever believe, honestly? Well, yeah, you do, because like I told you guys many times, if you don't believe that uh, right out of spring training, regardless of how poor of a team you are, there's no reason to, to leave spring training and why even play. Uh, there were quite a few of you experts, though, that told us in spring training that we were going to finish much farther down the ladder than we did. And, but there are uh, there are many experts out there, and you're all welcome to, to many of your opinions. But, you know, what we had to worry about was uh, what we believed was within ourselves, and we have a good chemistry here, and we all get along well, and we all fought 100% hard every game, and uh, that's why the big man upstairs determined that we'd have the right to go on and try and win a pennant. Okay. All good right. morning, Minnesota. Gibby, thank you. My pleasure. Jordan, thank you very much. Kirk Gibson. We're done for the moment down here. We're going to go upstairs where George Kell and Al Kaline are standing by. Gentlemen, it's all yours. Okay, Bernie. I like what the Tigers said. I liked especially what Frank Tanana said. A lot of people are going to rip the Blue Jays because they lost, and, and that's the way we do people. When they lose, why we get on them, and Frank Tanana gave them all the credit in the world, and I do too. I think the Blue Jays got a great ball club, great organization, and Al, they showed a lot of heart. Oh, they certainly did, and uh, every game decided by one run. You know, it sort of took us all by surprise that they went down so easily in the ninth inning because we were, you know, sort of halfway suspecting something like up in Toronto because these guys never say die. They're, they're great guys. They, they battled real hard. And then, uh, but the Tigers just happened to come out on top. But uh, exciting seven games between the Tigers and the Toronto Blue Jays. Okay, here's the way it went today. The Tigers had one run on three hits, no errors. The home run by Herndon, the winning run. Frank Tanana, the winner. He's won 15, lost 10 on the year. The Blue Jays had no run, six hits, no errors. And Jimmy Key, nothing to be ashamed of at all. Jimmy Key takes the loss. He's won 17, lost eight on the year. For Al Kaline and Bernie Smilovitz, this is George Kell. We want to thank you for being with us all year long during this most successful baseball season. Once again, the final score, the Tigers won, Toronto nothing. Tigers 87. Today's game is brought to you by Miller Beer. Miller made the American way since 1855. By McDonald's. It's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. And by Highland Superstores. They have the biggest selection of TV, stereos, and appliances in every store. Nobody gives you more. And nobody, but nobody, sells for less. Tigers 87, 
Another reason why WDIV is first for sports.